Running a solo startup is not easy. You have to design, code, market, and provide customer support all by yourself. But here's the thing, I get to create and work on things I believe in, and I can work from any location in the world with just my laptop. Don't get me wrong, I've done the 9 to 5 grind for a few years working for all types of companies. I've learned a lot and met some very smart people along the way. But I have also sat through countless unproductive meetings, dealt with petty office politics, and ultimately worked for someone else's vision the entire time. I think there's never been a better time to create something of your own. Progress in AI has made it possible to perform jobs that used to require entire teams. And with the recent tech layoffs and a dry job market, companies these days can no longer guarantee career stability. Now that I'm working solo, my future is in my own hands and I like it that way. I left my 9 to 5 around 6 months ago to reclaim control, control over my career and my life. The recent tech layoffs show that no matter how loyal you are to a company, job security is just an illusion. And having my future tied to someone else's decisions did not sit right with me. Now ask yourself this, how long can you picture yourself working for someone else? If the answer is not very long, then why not take some action? Whether that be starting your own company, freelancing, or building a side project alongside your full-time job to earn some extra income. Here's my take. If you're in your teens or 20s, you shouldn't worry about work-life balance. Those years are golden to go all in to see just how hard you can push yourself. I think you should work hard and see how hard you can work. Because when I look back in the future, I want to be proud of the fact that I tested myself when I had the time, youth, and energy. And now that I'm working solo, I can pour my full focus into my startups. Even if my startups fail, I know I would have learned more than I ever would have at a 9 to 5. One of the best perks of working solo is that I get to build and learn fast. I've worked in companies of all sizes, from large corporations to lean startups. And nothing beats the pace of working solo. In a startup environment, you're free from the endless processes and company bureaucracy that slows down momentum. If I have an idea for a new feature, I can design, code, and ship it all in a single day. Decisions are fast and so is the growth. Every move I make has an impact and I get immediate feedback from my users. When you're handling every part of the business, you don't just grow the company, you grow as an entrepreneur. By managing marketing, product, support, and finances all by yourself, you are slowly stacking up valuable skills. You become well-rounded, adaptable, and ready for anything. And let's say one day you want to jump back into the job market. The skills you would have gained will set you apart from everyone else. One of the best feelings about working for myself is that I actually care about what I'm creating because I have skin in the game. Until you have built and released something to the public, gained real users, and maybe even earned some paying customers, it's hard to fully describe this feeling. As cliche as it sounds, your product truly becomes your baby. And that change in perspective changes everything. Because now I take pride in what I'm building and the service I'm offering to my customers. Knowing that every feature, bug fix and improvement matters to the people using it. It's something you really feel working in a big company. Because you're often just one piece of the puzzle. But when you're working solo, the wins feel personal. But so do the losses. It's all on you and that's what makes it so great. If this video resonates with you, it might be your sign to take action. Maybe it's time to build a side project, learn a new skill, or even start your company. Imagine a life where you're not just a cog in someone else's machine, where every effort you put in takes you closer to your goals, not someone else's. Start small if you have to, but remember, the journey of going solo isn't just about building a business, it's about building yourself. If you want more videos on tips and advice for running a solo startup, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.